Hi, I'm Sasha Valor, and as you can see, I am inside of the Dazed magazine cupboard. Please make sure to watch this interview. I'm very excited. Drag to me means a fabulous queer historic art form that has been around since the beginning of time. It's a safe space to dream about um, experiencing gender in less fluid ways, for sure, um, which has always spoken to people in this deep way. So I think it reveals something deeply true about human nature, that we're drawn to fluidity. It creates families all over the country, these sort of like safe little pockets of queer people who support each other, um, help each other find jobs, find housing, find a sense of stability in our lives. I'm, I'm thinking about the celebrities that already basically are drag artists. Mm -hmm. So, Nicki Minaj, <laughs> Lady Gaga. We need to get David Bowie up there, Grace Jones. But we'll see if they can, if they can keep up. My go-to beauty item is toupee tape. <laughs> this entire thing is taped to my head with toupee tape. Well, I already am part of the Dame Shirley Bassey fan club, so if we could do something, throw back a little further and um, do lots of in references to her James Bond theme songs, to her covers of Italian pop songs, I would definitely be part of preaching the gospel of Dame Shirley Bassey. <laughs> Well, queens have always been very inventive with their reveals. Um, on Drag Race, I think people maybe learned from me that the big finale lip sync is a great opportunity to prepare a reveal, but I really want people to remember that the reveal has to come from the story of the song. We need to see finale performances that are, that are thoughtful, not just like random displays of drag trickery. Oh my gosh, I loved Drag Race UK. I thought it was so funny. Um, great sense of style and humor. I love that the queens um, don't seem to be bound by any kind of conservative idea about femininity or feminine beauty. Um, it's, drag queens don't need to be models. We should be like radicals. Um, and I got to see that on Drag Race UK. I need to be like, Kind of seeing other people's artwork or thinking about my own. I love to be um, creatively stimulated throughout the day. But mostly, I just continue working, I'm planning things. When I take the drag off, there's enormous amounts of like bureaucratic work to do associated with running the business of drag. And I'm trying to learn how to be even more responsible, even more on top of that. Because frankly, there's a lot of drag artists who are getting screwed over by, by a really really unfair systems and people who take advantage of the fact that drag artists maybe aren't the most business-minded when we set out as professionals. So it's been my special goal to become a strong businesswoman as well as a fabulous stage performer. The alien queen from the Drag Race season 10 finale. I came up with the idea of actually creating a full naked alien body on top of mine at the perfect little tits and beautiful long legs with spikes growing out of them, just like I've always dreamed. Giant cranium, <laughs> alien cranium, and um, of course, expensive Swarovskis all over my body. <laughs> this has been Sasha Velour with Dazed Trapped in the Closet. 